it's an amazing adventure for me, and I love when I get that kind of feedback. So when I have the opportunity of addressing someone, such as my clients, Melissa McCarthy, Josh Hopkins from Cougartown, you know, Ed Bagley Jr., I take the opportunity and the utmost. You know, they come to me, hands down, I don't bat an eye. I say, this is what I have for you, this is what I can do for you. Take it, let's do it. And those are the wonderful highlights of doing what I do, and that's why I'm an optician and an optical stylist and optical connections for you. I like it. All oh, right, so what do we got here? This is the wonderful Julia, one of my great models. Now, what Julia's wearing today is this amazing piece from Chanel. And what Chanel has created, this is an acetate Zyle frame. What they've created is an upstate, somewhat head eye retro, but also it's a teardrop. Okay? So this goes back and this goes into that vintage era also. And when you're selecting your frame of this caliber, and you were asking me earlier about bone structures and what face could you not, what could use and don't, and what face could you not use. See how beautiful her jawline is, just geometrically symmetrical there. This is the type of frame, this is the type of face that you want to put this kind of a frame on. You wouldn't want to put it on a frame, you wouldn't want to put this frame on a face like mine because my face is a little bit fuller and rounder. But on her face, it's absolutely stunning. And I say to all the ladies and gentlemen out there that want to wear a frame like this, take the chance because not only does this frame look amazing on a lady, it looks fantastic on gentlemen too. Okay. Your cat eyes are absolutely fun. It's the light essential staple of cat. Upspeed vintage, very vintage. So when they created this particular frame, they gave that extra swoop on the cat eye, which accentuates. So what it does is it takes the bone structure, the jaw structure, up into a V, and just creates this little illumination of just being happy when you're wearing this frame. And it's absolutely stunning. On it. What's the, the secret to pulling off the cat eye for, for a lady? Just feeling sexy, baby. That's all you gotta feel. Okay. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, so we have Elizabeth who's wearing this amazing, amazing uh, soft cat eye by Chanel. It's an upsweet, but it's just absolutely stunning. And if you look closely at this frame of this in sharp, which is a light acid, it's a light acid frame. Um, once again, when you say look where with them and wear cat eyes, the bone structure again gives it that uplifting and upsweet. And it's just absolutely stunning on her. And I think that, you know, anyone that feels that she can't wear a cat eye or she'd like to try a cat eye, don't be afraid to go in and take a chance and, and just give it a shot. If it works for you, if it does, it works. And if it doesn't, come see me and I'll find a friend that will work for you. Absolutely. Maybe something we haven't really touched on is, uh, is, is coloring. Coloring is one of the key points because not everybody can wear all colors. And one of the biggest trends right now is everyone says when they're, being, when they're looking for a Zyle or a cat eye or an aviator, they want to go to the basic black because they, the, the basic black is safe. You don't necessarily have to always stick with the black. You can stick, you can move into colors because colors will illuminate your face. You don't have to, you don't have to put on makeup to go out to the market. As long as you have this price on. Oh, sorry. Back. Okay. Continue. As long as you have this frame on that allows color, you can throw a baseball cap on, put your hair in a ponytail, and still be able to rock it. Fantastic. Here